All right, folks, the deck is Amalgam Shaman. The goal of the deck is to get down all three Amalgams in Nightmare Amalgam, Amalgam of the Deep, and Circus Amalgam at a reduced cost thanks to Clownfish. We can also buff them up with Earth and Might because they are all different types of minions, reduce their cost with Kindling Elemental, and they will pull Patches the Pirate and Parachute Brigand into play, as well as give us the opportunity to strap a Zilliax onto them. All in all, this deck has a lot of flexibility in the way that it plays because of the different minion types on these minions. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash ruffle. Watch this! What lurks beyond it's like a good opener. Light. Um, point this into this, this. Sure. Maybe only Clownfish would give me hesitation. Oh, well now I've got a backup angler, so it's even better. Might not take the swing here. We'll have to see what they do. I mean, if they heal, they're not playing palm reading, though, so is that just fine? Yeah, well, we got ourselves a, bol a bolner. Pirates away! That's a good hit. I think I'm gonna force the heal. I don't think the quest line is that important in this matchup. I want to kill them before they get it online, regardless. Yeah, and like, they're always going to prioritize uh, palm reading there. Exclamation point priest again. That's a really unfortunate outcome for me. I've got another Toxfin in my deck, so... We just keep generating Gorlocks. Billy! got messy. I didn't like this turn. Brutus, thank you for the four months. Uh, I gave up my floor goal for or the toxin for the floor goal, but it's just like I couldn't figure out a way to get hand space for the um, Gorlock. That's in your res pool now.
job's done. Guess I should have taken the repentance after all. It just doesn't want to touch that bolner. I know. I'd be hesitant too. Oh god. It's your turn, bud. That's one of our cards, so probably an Earthen Might or a Totemic Reflection, right? It's only spells that are in our deck. That's really risky. Why would you do that? What if they get the Pirates? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Almost there. Please, no clear. You have been. Oh my God. What lurks beyond the firelight? Well met. You're the only thing I watch nearly every day, and it's been great stuff. Thank you. I appreciate that, Joe. Glad you're enjoying the content. What is the winning condition of this deck? Uh, well, you just saw it. We make our opponent's life total zero. Do you play D&D? &D? Uh, sometimes. We have turned play more, uh, been playing a lot more Gloomhaven recently. I'm probably just gonna play this for tempo so that I can hit the Totemic Reflection on it. Hello! You hungry? Which allows me to free up the Clownfish now for the Gorilock Ravager. Or not. <laughs> this is a brutal matchup. That first board clear is devastatingly bad for me. Oh, 
Oh. That hurts. Please don't have a clear. I don't think they should be able to. Hey, welcome, Zeno. Oh, give me the insert. Oh, no! Oh, I wanted that so bad. Moving their armor is important here. You're welcome, Rivix. Well, at least we're going to Wendy's. Just hold here. I don't have lethal. Until I had another Murloc. Fires? Fires isn't gonna get him there, right? Because they only have one mana left. Keep this. Oh, you built this Ruffle, do you think Lunacy Mage will be playable at some point? I think I over time the deck gets more and more, or less and less unplayable, or less and less playable. Because the broad card pool makes Lunacy incredibly inconsistent, which is why it's always been kind of bad in the wild. I've never seen this card before. But it actually seems like it could be pretty good in this matchup. Same thing with Evolve, not necessarily, because the range for Evolve is much more narrow than the range of uh, possible spells that you could hit. with the weapon. Even though I'm not getting value off of the first weapon. I guess I could kill it this way. Then I leave the tiny fin on the board. Is that acceptable? Depends on what we draw. This pulls the parachute brigand, so this is probably way worth. Oh!
I actually kind of want this to die so I can kill the Tide Collie, though. I stand in wonder. That order seemed pretty good. Can you run Ice Fishing in this deck? Uh, you can, but I think with Clownfish, Gorlock, Ravager is just better. They've got an Amalgam in hand. Oh my god, those are good Murlocs. all my mana here. Hey, welcome, Umbra. Uh, we've got lethal showing, so if they just drop a Megafin, it should be fine. Get him patches. What lurks beyond the Without Moonlight like Guidance, wouldn't a lot of mid range control decks be able to contest Cthundruid by playing the long game? I mean, they still can. I think I want to find an amalgam. Like, those are nice together, but. Yeah, I like this better. No one. Oh, you built this for me? Pirates away! Pretty good opener here. Saimot might be a little too greedy, but... I wonder if it's the Miracle version. Uh, I think we want to prioritize buffing the Amalgam when we can. Okay. Uh, Saimot... I want to hold back the Canal Slogger in case it is the Auctioneer build, because, like, Nature Studies and Bog Beam both kind of lean that way. Play Breaker and Skulking guys for Jade Idols. Lightbreaker is the only thing you can do against 20 plus armor. Those, you can't just make up cards, chat. That's why we buff the Amalgam. Uh, they could still get a an Auctioneer pop off here with because they have the coin. I don't think Guff is... Well, it could do it. Got 15, but they could do something here to reduce that. Still possible? Nope, you're dead. One, 
I don't have a two drop is my concern. I still like this hand. If I can stick the amalgam, we're in business. Greetings. Greetings. Hello. You hungry? Thank you. Oh, you built this for me? my board with it the way this is uh, panning out. The punish is if they clear exactly this minion and nothing else. Okay, we can hit them next turn with the exclamation point priest. Not appear to be a big priest. Feel the sun bear down upon you. Okay, inner fire. Don't kill me. Or heal through this. I don't think we die from here, do we? They would have to have a nutty draw. Doesn't seem likely. Oh, uh, let's buff. Well, that's lethal, isn't it? Go get them, Amalgams. I feel like I need a one drop. As much as I want to keep the Amalgam. Found it. for my curve. I think I go for Murloc. I just go Clownfish into... Hmm. Or I could just go here and here and save the Clownfish. Nature spell, right? I'm never gonna cast a frost spell, so probably kindling. Let's keep things low to the ground in terms of their mana cost. They didn't draw off of the first stage, and if they do have, if this card is patches, they've had a really rough go at it. What 
But if they printed Swordfish for Warrior, um, that'd be a very strong card. Let's be grateful they didn't. But that would maybe be the first time you consider not running Anchor in your deck as a Pirate Warrior. I like the straight up trade there just so that I have a guaranteed board space. I'm sorry, what? At least I got the best outcome. Brawl? I mean, don't ask me, I just work here. Who goes there? It's really confusing. These cards make no sense in your deck. Fantastic here. Just for keeping these on board and healthy. I wonder if that's the context for that person, like, saying that I talked poorly about uh, Heavy Plate. Because Heavy Plate's a good card, but it does not belong in Pirate Warrior. I got this one errant combo comment t telling me, or say, talking about how, like, I spoke poorly of Heavy Plate, but. It's a good card, just not in this deck. It always has been a good card. I've always said it's a good card, just not in this deck. It's bizarre. As bizarre as running Heavy Plate in Pirate Warrior. Not the good old you beat me so I'll rope last turn? Yeah. What are you gonna do? They're just really, really terrified of this healing totem. This and to coin this, so pitch this away. Well, I've got Flurgle Talks, but not really something I want to play right now. Or is it? Okay, kind of low rolled that with only hitting three. Just need one more Murloc and uh, so that we can deal with Divine Shield shenanigans. Or they just don't have enough cost reduction for that to matter, hopefully. minions please but like getting further ahead will hopefully offset any of their big swing turns this is your 
All right. You lose one board, and I guess the game's over. That's kind of how Mac Paladin is, to be honest. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Nate Drex, Osiris, Hyroflow Scarlet, St. Arthur, Shado Yama, Vanfix, and Zach Martin. 